Good morning, this is Decimate. We have a new update for Fallout 76 8.5. This one we get the Pro Snap Deluxe functional game camera to fill your photo mode gallery with snapshots of your adventure. You can use the aim button to look through the camera and attack button to take a photo. You can use the Tinker's Workbench to build the camera, apply mods and lenses. The camera uses film which you can craft at the Tinker's Workshop. <clears throat> when you take aim you also display names of nearby locations and creatures it recognizes. Um, learn to craft it by finding a broken one and corpse and one of the tourists who met their end in the wasteland. And once you've acquired a camera you will begin the new bucket list quest. Which allows you to finish the tourist photography collection. Many new camera related challenges have been added to Fallout 76 and you can complete them using that camera. In general the repair kits are coming out which you have to buy in the Atom shop for the regular ones that repair to 100% and then They cannot be crafted, dropped, sold to vendors, or traded with other players. And what is it? The improved repair kits are the ones you can get from different events. And they can't be dropped, crafted, traded, sold, to use any crafting material when consumed. They're not available in the shop. They're currently dropped as loot by the Scorch Beast Queen. May be added to rewards for other types of things. If you have both, you'll be prompted to select which one you want to use. Note on utility items in the Atomic Shop. Thank you, everyone. Took time to share the feedback and concerns about the repair kit. In the past couple of weeks, we examined all the feedback and today we want to share our thinking when it comes to these types of items how they are related to the atomic shop when we originally announced atomic shop last year we said it was only to provide anything that offers competitive advantage <clears throat> that it will not provide anything that offers a competitive advantage remain to commitment to that statement take it into account when we evaluate every new item we bring to the shop both now and in the future while repair kits offer a way to fix an item in the field, we feel that you will find they are a convenient option you can utilize during your adventures. If we find that repair kits do offer any sort of competitive advantage once they're available, we may make necessary changes to ensure the advantage is removed. Aside from purchasing atoms, you can also unlock basic repair kits using atoms you've earned from challenges. Additionally, the more powerful and improved repair kits will not be available in the shop. can be earned by completing game content by killing the Scorch Beast Queen. Design and balance. Okay, junk. Aluminum can, uh, oil cans now each grant one aluminum when scrapped rather than one steel and can, and the can's base value has been increased from 9 to 13. Aluminum trays and empty cans now each grant two aluminum yippity do rather than two steel and their base value has been increased from one to ten caps. Sound. New screen. Sound effects have been added and will play when interacting with the new screen. Bug fixes. Blueprints. Attempt to add object that was built on top of another object to a blueprint such as a chair on a foundation no longer sometimes prevents bulb lettering the level the letter w now correctly lights up when powered the nuke mobile is now correctly located in the wall decor build then in lights <coughs> challenges number of challenges and sub challenges have received update description to improve clarity Red Storm challenges. Nuke zones now count towards Red Storm related challenges such as kill a glowing creature in a Red Storm daily challenge. All Fashnat masks are now immune to condition damage. 
And the bad news, building mask is now correctly located in the headwear crafting menu rather than the outfits. Mods. Mods found can now be correctly applied to power armor and weapons. Finally, um, the salvage assault run head crafting requirement now correctly includes a science expert perk rather than just a perk. Performance and stability. Loading. Fix an issue that could cause players to encounter an infinite loading screen. Performance implemented at improvement to reduce hitching while running the game client. Stability. Fix an issue that could cause PC game client to crash after unsustain. Uh, after editing to the desktop from the main menu. Stability. Increased in, addressed an issue that could cause a game client to crash when using the add and purchase screen from long shot. Encrypted. Encrypted event. The individual pylons during the encrypted event will only register one interaction at a time and only count as one of three required pylons. Okay, user interface, photo mode players have not or are looking at the feature pose, can now use it. Item stats now correctly remain visible in tip boy. Bone raider, excavator, paint preview no longer incorrectly appears when inspecting. Unpainted excavator power armor. Survival beta score icons on the map now correctly update, but rankings after play disconnects from the middle. Scroll boards, first person, uh, first score type listed on the survival beta board now correctly matches the top three for the week. Sharp address issue that could cause controls to be unresponsive upon return to the main screen after exiting the alley purchase screen. Social the friends list is once again sort, so holy crap. So oh. that's good. Uh, workshops, the Corvega small water purifier van is now correctly marked as premium in the workshop build menu. I jumped in the water. So, not too much stuff this week, but I guess there'll be quests anyway to do for this, that camera. That's all I got. Thank you.